World Keat One Time Tomer. You know, a very experienced and talented father, I have to say. Permits to her and legendary Manny Pacma Pacquiao's career when they get to meet in the ring <laughs> on July 20th. <clears throat> Actually, I watched the full press conference. I think the battle be heard on Fox pay per view. Fox are trying to really make wave. You know, they are trying to. <laughs> ah, hey man, ah, hey man. This guy is a, is a, is a well connected guy. You know, has contract with Showtime and Fox. And I am gonna have to commend the guy. Just that I don't like what he's doing sometimes, especially the way he's telling the underwater to duck the unified away king of the whole universe at the Joshua. Other than that, I think Al Heyman is a great uh, businessman. You know, I don't know if he loves boxing like that. I think he's just a guy who saw the opportunity in boxing and kind of took over. You know what I mean? So, uh, Manny Pacquiao has been advised by Heyman. We all know that already. I thought he was going to start the zone, but he didn't start the zone. Uh, so, Manny Pacquiao will be going against uh, Keith one time Tomer on July 20th. You know, one time Tomer is a very talented guy. I think uh, injury kind of uh, set him back a little bit, but he came back again. You know, um, uh, in January, and they had a very good performance. But we also saw that he's not his former self. You know, he's a guy who's beaten Danny Garcia. You know, Sean Porter as a guy who, at one time, wanted to fight Ever Spence. I don't know if he wanted a bout or Ever Spence. They didn't want it. I don't know. According to what I've heard so far, from. I'm not a fan of, of of nether guys, you know. I'm not a fan, but I'm a fan of boxing, fan of boxers, but I'm not a fan boy of nether guys. So, there are Spence fans say, "Well, Kit Wanatoma don't want to smoke." Why Kit Wanatoma fans say, "Well, he's injury pro right now, and uh, he cannot really fight a guy like Spence." Excuses, excuses, excuses. So he will be going against the legendary Manny Pacquiao. Pacquiao is saying that he's going to end his career. <laughs> <laughs> I love him, Philippines. Manny Pacma might be 40 years old, but he still got a lot left in the tank. His end speed is just too good. Yeah, one time Tomer, Keith Tomer has that power to knock anyone out. You know, he's very fast, very quick. Uh, but Manny Pacquiao also has that. Manny Pacquiao retired also the lawyer. I mean, he's fought the likes of Floyd Mayweather. Although he lost that bout, but he tried his best in that bout, you know. Yeah, he lost to this Australian guy. Uh, what was his name? The one, uh, Jeff Horn. Jeff Horn, yeah, Jeff Horn. The one that lost to Terence Crawford. If you look at the weight of division right now, there are killers there, man. Aaron Spence Jr., Terence Crawford. We want to see that bout, but uh, Heyman is not trying to. He doesn't want to cooperate with uh, Bob Harum to make that fight happen. You know, and this guy saying that to Wanda Thomas saying that he will end Manny Pacquiao's career. I don't really believe that. I mean, I actually thought after the loss to. Jeff Horn, Manny Pacquiao had nothing anymore. I Many we thought he was past his, his prime and you know, just uh, not not himself anymore, like due to the age, you know. I mean, but he showed us in his last fight against uh Andrew Broner, Andrew and Broner that he still got it and he's still ready to do damage. And he's ready to compete with a guy who undefeated, a guy who undefeated like Keith Tomer. He's very interesting. And I think this will be a very huge bout. And I cannot wait to watch it. You know, as a boxer fan, I'm very, very happy uh, that they're making this fight happen. I also have to commend Al Heyman. Al Heyman is trying to make things happen, man. Sometimes he gives us the fast one we want to see. Sometimes it doesn't. 
especially if the fathers or one of the fathers are assigned to other networks, then it become a problem like Joshua Water, Terrence Crawford, and Eric Spence. But potential bar we want to see. We are not going to see it because Ahima don't really want to cooperate with other, you know, networks. But hey, what happens? What, ha what happens happens. So. This would be a very good fight. What well, my favorite to win is about. I have to go to. I have to give my my support for Manny Pacquiao, man. I know Keith Tomer is talented. I know he's undefeated, but I feel like he's not his former self, man. You know that injury actually damaged his bone structure, and we know that he might look at himself and say, "I still got it," but I don't think he's got it. Maybe he might prove me wrong on July 20th. Prove me wrong and beat Manny Pacquiao. If he beats Manny Pacquiao, I heard there's a rematch clause in it, then I have to go for a rematch. If he beats Manny, Manny Pacquiao in a very impressive fashion, that means it's back. That means it's back, that's for sure. And I go for the rematch, and if he beats him on the rematch, that means he's the man now, man. So Aaron Spence and uh, Terrence Crawford, we have to go see, uh, see Kitama. Kitama is a very talented dude, in my opinion. I just feel like right now he doesn't want to get in with the Lions, you know, like Terence Crawford. I still think that Terence Crawford is is the best um, out of the four guys right now. Terence Crawford is more talented, you know, got you on the side, and Terence Crawford is a very skillful fighter. That guy is so skillful that you don't even know his strategy. What strategy is going to bring the ring? You don't even know. It just surprises you with something. That's what I like about that guy, man. I like that guy a lot. So, this is my tell for now. Uh, Tomer saying that he's going to hand the Manny Pacquiao's career. Pff, I don't think so. But you never know. Tomer still got it. If he still got it, then good. If he, if he's already past his prime, uh, then I don't know, man. So, give your thoughts below, guys. Like the video, share, and please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Like I always say, Please go follow me on Instagram at BoxingBlockSetter and as well on Twitter at BoxingBlock. Cheers everyone.